I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw six facts about the sun. I take three fingers from the top in the center and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line all the way around. Keep going, keep going and connect. Now right above I'm going to start curve line up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and leave it floating. Curve line up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and leave it floating. Come to the opposite side. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, leave it floating. And let's continue up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Leave it floating. Starting over here on the left, I'm just going to draw a straight black line. Leave it floating. Come over here down to the bottom part. Draw a curve line. Curve line, connect. Right where we connect. Curve line out, back, connect and underneath little curve line connect. Then we're going to draw we'll call this one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight baby circles and those represent the eight planets that continually, meaning all the time, orbit the sun, meaning going around the sun. Now we come over here on the right, draw a straight line out, leave it floating. Let's put a dot, draw a curved line, keep going and connect. And inside, it doesn't matter really what you draw, we're just going to draw a wavy line, wavy line down, over, wavy line, put some little curved lines. Because this is Earth, and Earth is the closest, that means the Sun is the closest star to Earth. Not the closest planet. The Sun is the closest star to Earth. Now we come back down over here on the bottom right. Draw a straight line. Leave it floating. The Sun is made out of helium and hydrogen. Helium and hydrogen. Okay. Now we come back down on this side. Draw a straight line. Leave it floating. It is the largest object in the solar system. Largest object in the solar system. It is, ready, a really big star. Okay? And right here, draw a straight line out. And it is about 4.5 billion, not million, billion years old. The sun. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, when we start coloring with multiple colors, meaning that we're going to do a blend, you always start with the lightest color first. So I'm going to start with my yellow, and the first thing I'm going to do is color up, down, up, down, up, down. 
the outside part of my sun. Then I'm going to come in and I'm just going to put some wavy, wavy lines inside of color. I'm not going to be too concerned about it because I know I'm going to make different colors over it. Next, I went through my crayons and I found a yellow orange. Now with my yellow orange, I'm going to go and redo my curved lines going around my sun and I'm going to add some wavy lines of color. This is how you build up what you want the surface of your sun to look like. Next, that was yellow orange. Now I get, <clears throat> excuse me, I get my regular orange and I lightly loop de loop over the other two colors. Not so dark that you can't see them anymore, but now I'm filling in any of that white paper space. And I'm going to add on the outside some color just to add a little bit more color, pops of color. Okay. Last but not least, I'm going to take my red orange. And this, I'm just going to do some waves, wavy lines on top. And I'm going to use this as my color for my straight lines that go out to my facts. And then in between, I'm going to put some little straight lines for emphasis so that you know this is shining brightly. Okay? Alright, good. Now, starting over at the top where my eight planets are, you can color these in any way you want. But I'm going to use blue. I'm going to use green. Not in any order. Maybe I'll make one of these green. Blue, green, turquoise and red orange just to fill in some color next I'm going to take my green and color in these little wavy lines they call earth the blue marble because when you see it from far away it looks like a big blue marble so I'm going to use my green I'm going to use my blue to color those spaces in and that's basically it, because the rest of these are facts. So what I want to do one last time is look and see, do I need any more color? If I think I do, take a color and lightly loop-de-loop -loop what you've already done. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my sun all colored in. A really big star. Okay, bye-bye.